Good morning guys and welcome back. So I'm a little bit late starting today's daily vlog. It is half past ten. Today is the first day that I've been back since our holiday. We got back at about eleven o'clock last night. I had the best time, like honestly the best time. And I really just kind of switched off. I scheduled a lot of content to go live when I was there. Um, actually like three or four videos, but I think four videos. But I actually just totally chilled out. We don't have internet at my parents' place in Portugal, so um, it was just a total internet detox for me. And we had, it was me and Mike and then eight of our friends over the week, so a lot of people like came and went um, and like replaced each other in their bedrooms, if that makes sense. We had like a couple of friends come out for three days, a couple of friends come out for four days, and chop and change, but it was so, so nice. I had the best time, but I am back. And today is the first day of my book signings. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. The first one today is actually in Selfridges. It is half past 10. I went for a run this morning, actually. I ran um, over to my mum's and I hadn't run in so long. I, ha I like walked quite a lot of it. Hence, I'm in a little bit of a hurry because it took me longer than it would have done if I'd have run the whole thing. But I made it, I did it, and I feel good for it because I seriously ate so much this past week. I drank so much wine, ate so much ice cream that I am eating healthily and trying to work out and then over the next month, probably, just to try and get everything back into top shape, tip top shape. Not that I was in tip top shape before to be honest because I had been out of my exercise kind of regime for a while. I tend to like drop, like chop and change when it comes to exercise. If I get really busy, I kind of um, lose the momentum. So that is what's happening anyways. I'm heading off to London in about 15 minutes to go and pick up my dress for tonight, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm gonna go and get my hair and makeup done. I actually just washed my hair because I put um, an oil treatment in it yesterday and ended up looking so greasy. I was like, I can't even go to London with hair this greasy. It looked outrageous. So I just washed it and blow dried it. I'm actually really, really hot. Um, and then put a little bit of makeup on, but I'm gonna get my hair and makeup done in Selfridges before, um, the signing, I'm getting my hair done at Daniel Galvin, which they do amazing blow dryers, so I'm really excited about that. And then I think MAC are doing my makeup again, which they did, they've done for a couple of events, and yeah, I'm always super happy with it. So that's what's happening. Poor little Squidgy is in the wars again, are you not, Squidgeroo? Have you got the pillow of shame on? Little Squooby, we had um, a friend house sitting when we were away, and last time we went away, Squidgy cut her paw. This time she's cut her other paw, so she's got a sock on it so that she can't lick it, and this, because she's been licking the other foot, which isn't cut, because she can't lick that one, and then it's making that one sore as well, so she's got the sock and the pillow of shame, and she's not very happy about it. Um, but she's looking cute. And then Piggy Wigs over here as well with the kitty cat. Hello, baby. Piggy's actually not coming to all of the book signings this time because WH Smith are not letting her in, are they, Pig? Oh, no, it's because you smell. It's because you smell. Oh, how rude. Um, no, she's coming to Birmingham and Milton Keynes, which actually works out really well because she doesn't like the car too much. Like, she doesn't really like long journeys, so we're going to take her to the two closest ones. So that is Piggy, and then I think Treacle's over here having a little snoozy snooze. Hello, Bum Bum, how you doing, my Bum Bum? She's like, leave me alone, I'm sleeping. Oh, spotty dog. I made it to London, as per usual. I have my suitcase with me. It's like always, always, always with me. I'm always on the go. Houston is looking particularly stinky today. I'm on my way to pick up my dress, yay. So I made it to London, guys, and there is a disaster of clothing going on in my bedroom, but I've picked out some stuff to wear for this week, and I've picked out my outfit for tonight. I thought I was gonna wear a dress, but I'm actually going with some trousers, which is very unlike me. Um, I'm actually gonna do a lookbook video and put them on Instagram, so I'm not gonna show you in this video, but you'll kind of be able to see anyway, because I'm gonna be vlogging wearing it, but I'm off to get my hair done now, which is in dire need of doing something to it, because it's a little bit crazy. So I have arrived in Selfridges. First stop is Daniel Galvin for hair, and then I'm going to MAC for my makeup. I have my clothes in my little bag, and I'm hoping they don't get too creased, but we will see. Mike is also on his way to London. He's gonna be a little bit later than me. I think he's getting here at like five, and it's half three now, so I'm excited and nervous. I'm actually so nervous. So 
so I've just had my hair and makeup done. I feel thoroughly spoiled and I'm in my outfit, which like I said, is gonna be in a lookbook. So you guys will have to come and check that out if you wanna see the whole thing. And the queue is outside. I'm in the secret VIP shopping section of Selfridges, which I never knew existed. And it's amazing. Um, and yeah, Mike is on his way as well. He's a little bit late and I'm feeling so nervous. Apparently there are some people there. So there's lots of people there already, which I'm happy about, but yeah. I feel like the first date of the tour is always the most nerve wracking because you just don't really know what to expect. And I hope people are gonna like the book. This is the first time people have properly seen it and I'll be able to talk to people about it. So feeling nervous, let's do this guys. I just finished my signing, it went so well. And just because it's in central London, some of my friends also turned up to the signing. Iris is here, this is my friend Vic. Have you ever been in my vlogs? Um, <laughs> I don't think so, because she normally lives in Dubai, so we're very lucky to have Vic with us today. And Gareth. Hi who guys. you all know, and Mike is driving. What we up? had such a good time. Iris actually turned up as the last person in the queue. I was and like, I what She has a book, So, so excited. cool. So Major friend points. She actually got in the queue. I love it, it was so cool. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to dinner now at a place called Pasha Mama, which I think is Peruvian. I'm so hungry. I've had one of those days where you just don't really eat very much and then you realize you haven't eaten very much at the end of the day and you're about to chew someone's arm off because you're so hungry, That's so. Lovely, I mean, I'm <laughs> gonna to 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 my arm. You watch out, watch out, Mike. <laughs> but yeah, that was so cool, honestly, like a total dream come true, being able to do a book signing in my favorite shop. I loved it. So we are in a restaurant called Pashamama. We're joined by this one. He's been hanging out on his own for the last. <laughs> we missed you in one day. Jack and Iris have both been in Portugal with us, so we've seen them a little bit recently. The food here is so delicious. Um, we actually, it's kind of annoying because it comes in really small batches and we've eaten a couple already. But this is um, sea bream ceviche and what is this? Slow cooked beef short rib. Slow cooked beef short rib. Oh yeah, it looks good. So this is grilled octopus with, I think it's with quinoa as well. And then this one is a different kind of quinoa with fish. And the boys have the traditional Peruvian dish of a poached egg and asparagus. Guess who ordered that? So there is some intense lighting going on right now. I feel like. That's really Can we just put now. this one? You just press that button there. there I feel go. like this is less intense lighting. So we just got back from dinner and we did a little activity that we have been doing every day when we were on holiday. And I wanted to tell you guys about it because I think it's really awesome. Like it's a really fun thing to do with your friends but also something that's really cool to like reflect on your day or your week or whatever you want to do it for but basically at the end of each day when we were on holiday when we were sitting around the table at dinner we each picked our high of the day and our low of the day and most of the time when we we're on holiday it was pretty basic because it would be like my high of the day has been you know playing cricket in the pool or like finishing my book and my low of the day was losing or whatever so it was pretty casual but if you do it in everyday life it's actually really awesome because it kind of makes you realize like what to be thankful for that's the right postcode Mike, yeah. mike's putting the sat nav postcode just in. to make sure we get the fastest route to and it's just a really nice thing to do either like with your family or with your friends or with the other half like whatever you want to do i would recommend it and it's really fun and we also take bets on how much the bill is going to be if we're out at a restaurant as well which is very childish but fun. <laughs> the high and low thing I would recommend, giving it a go yourselves, it's really fun. We are back, or on our way back to the flat right now. How was your dinner? It was delicious. I had the best dinner ever, it was so, so good. I would say the best dinner ever, but I mean a really, really Not good Not ever in the world, but, but like, it was, it was good really good. I was yeah, exaggerating when I said the best ever. I know, but it was to, up there, I feel to, like it was up there. You need to there. withhold the excitement the best because ever, I know. if that ever happens that you have that best ever meal, but I feel, like, say it I feel say, like that was up there with my top 40 meals ever. Yeah. And that's saying something because uh, no, how many meals no. do you eat a week? Three times seven. It 21. Was a, it so was, you eat 21 meals a week. That's only two weeks worth of meals, top 40. It was, top 40 it was not in my top 40. I think it was in mine. I think you want to turn right here. I think I want to turn right here. Yeah. Okay, well, shame we can't turn right on the red. I'm a terrible vlogger and I didn't finish my vlog last night because I got back, got into that bed and fell asleep 
pretty much instantaneously. If you want to find out what Mike is cooking for breakfast, then come back tomorrow. I'm going to be vlogging every day on this tour, so come back for the good breakfast stuff, and I will see you then. Goodbye!